Hi, I'm Julie Goodwin and today I'm going to be using my Thermomix to make a beautiful family dinner, chicken and chorizo stew. I'm going to start the recipe by cooking off a bit of chorizo with a little bit of olive oil. Measuring 20 grams. And two chorizo sausages that I've cut up. I'm going to replace the measuring cup with the TM basket so that the steam can release without any spitting. I'm going to put it on for six minutes at 100 degrees, reverse and soft. While that's cooking, I'm just going to chop up some vegetables. DC to capsicum. The great thing about the Thermomix is that you don't really need any knife skills. I just need to cut it into big enough pieces to fit into the bowl. And it's going to do all the chopping for me. I'm just going to take the seeds out of the chilli with a spoon. If you prefer your stew a little bit spicier, you can leave the seeds in. The onion doesn't need to be chopped and neither does the garlic. I just need to cut this in half and the garlic clove goes in whole. So I'm just going to take out the chorizo, which smells amazing, with all the juices and put it into a bowl and then we'll cook the chicken. So now it's time to cook the chicken. I'm going to weigh in 20 grams of olive oil. and put in four thigh fillets of chicken. They've been trimmed and cut into strips. This time I'm going to use the measuring cup on top to keep all the moisture inside. And I'll cook it for 10 minutes at 100 degrees on a reverse soft speed. I'm going to remove the chicken and all the juices with it to the bowl with the chorizo. This is a Spanish inspired dish so I'm going to make a sofrito which is the flavour base for a lot of beautiful Spanish dishes. It's just made of onion, capsicum, chilli and garlic all whizzed up together. The best thing about the Thermomix is that this is going to turn these chunky vegetables into a beautiful smooth paste in a matter of seconds. I'm going to start on 5 seconds at speed 10. Now I just need to scrape down the sides of the bowl and give it another 5 seconds. So what I've got there is a beautiful smooth paste and I'm just going to add to that one tin of chopped tomatoes, half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground black pepper and then 70 grams of tomato paste. So 
So now I'm just going to cook that for 13 minutes. Varoma, speed two, with the basket on the lid. So that's 13 minutes. You can see it's steaming away there. It smells amazing. And it's really thickened up and changed colour. So that's a beautiful sauce for this dish. Now all I have to do is put in 250 mils of beef stock. hundred grams of risoni pasta, which is a cute little pasta that looks like grains of rice and the rest of my chicken and chorizo with all the juices that they come with. And all I need to do now is put the lid back on, put the basket back on top, 15 minutes on reverse at 100 degrees and I can wander off and do whatever I want because this little baby is going to cook dinner for me. The best thing about the Thermomix is that I can set and forget. So now I can wander off while this does all the work. Okay, that smells absolutely amazing. And it's ready to go. So I'm just going to put that here into the Thermo server, which is going to keep it beautiful and warm till I'm ready to serve dinner. So there it is, ready to serve. A beautiful chicken and chorizo stew, wonderful family meal, made a little bit by me, but mostly by my friend in the kitchen, my Thermomix. So there it is, my chicken and chorizo stew. You can find the recipe for this and thousands of other delicious dishes at the Thermomix Recipe Community website.